the wheel of dark is more of a scientific observation of synchronicity it is an observation of why the certain things happened in your life and why you're even here born with the emotions that you have how do you know the things that you know so when you begin to take a step back from that state of consciousness of not thinking that like you know you know what you know and that's what it is and whatever and I have my thoughts I have my ideas I have my experiences and that's what led me here and then all the people who are in my life they're just the people in my life that's that's what they are right well when you start to analyze the people in your life they're truly just reflections of who you are in every single capacity so when you start to analyze those reflections of everybody including the bad people then you start to see karmic consequences between your ancestors and you that is now being generational, which is why we deal with the generational karmic consequences we do. This is the wheel of dharma. You make me feel like shit, five minutes later somebody makes you feel like shit. Could take a week and it'll be the exact same way that you've made me feel. Does this make sense? Yep. So that's the wheel of dharma. Dharma is like the elasticity, the gravity of your own self that pulls these things to you and pushes them away. <laughs> oh, did he just uh, flip you off? No, he gave me a thumbs up. Oh, nice. Because I was like flashing because I don't have a back turn signal. <laughs> I fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I love that Model T, bro. Oh, yeah, the Yerba mate? I don't know. So, did that help you understand when you think of the Wheel of Dharma? Yeah. What do you think of the Wheel of Dharma and your interpretation now? Actually, I just said yeah randomly without even thinking. Um, no. And uh, we jumped off the subject and I lost train of thought. Yep. Because of that guy. Guy gave you a thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah, so I was thinking about the Wheel of Dharma. Like, um... Do you want to enjoy the scenery? Yep. The Wheel of Dharma. Well... Here we are out here in the most beautiful place in the world. Eden. <laughs> North America. Yes. As north as you can go. Almost. Yep. Well, it's becoming little Massachusetts. It's northern Massachusetts now. If we can take back the state of Maine in a way of uh, being coming in state national, as you were talking about, mm -hmm. um, as we know, then, you know... Every day I learn more and more about it. And I just learned that you just got to be. We already are who we're looking for. We already are who we're looking for. Who are you looking for? <laughs> well, I'm looking, uh, looking for me, to be honest. Well, I found you. Do you relate a lot to... You're going to have to figure those things out on your own. No matter what I say. Yeah. Hello, Raja. Hey. Hey. I'm always... Um, held by a certain like today I, I had to forgive myself for people holding things over my head as I then held things over other people's head so then once I forgave myself it was like oh I'm free so now I'm free so I'm not like felt by these consequences of the burdens of my so called reputation if there's only versions of me then that means I'm definitely not the person I was yesterday I'm changing all the time I know it's somehow it's not obnoxious but yet obnoxious cool but yet uncool at the same time I'm, I'm gonna go with it though, you know, <laughs> not be too much of an old man Man that thing is beautiful though Yeah, right. You know Who's whose whip is that? Is it just here for show? You want to check it out? I mean, yeah, I don't know. So when I was down in the old South Canal <laughs> Yep down in the gains of the Ville and the The old heights. <laughs> He's got a brake light that says stop. <laughs> nice. This thing is sick, huh? Get right this in. Wood. Yeah, this is like... His rim is wood. <laughs> Look, it's got corduroy seating. His rim is actually wood. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I love this. This is I how it's done. It, dude, put, <laughs> buy one of these, slap a state national play on the back. <laughs> I know, right? I definitely. Antique Auto Osmobile. No way. 
You know, they don't make them like this anymore, I tell you. <laughs> Interesting. It really actually is, isn't it? Oh, I love these headlights. Look at the size of these things. Oh, yeah. Feel that, bro. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, yeah. White wall rims. Oh, this thing is gorgeous. You know, the old stage carriage. Oh, man. A part of me doesn't want to touch it, but I'm like, if I don't touch it, then I'm like missing out on the experience. This is all about sensing what it really is. And you know what? If I had this, I'd put a killer system somewhere in there. I'd be like blasting hippie sabotage or yeah, hippie some, sabotage, yep, yep, yeah. some killer clothes E or something like that. Osmobile. Oh, that's styling. This thing is joust. Quality stuff right here. Quality stuff. Yeah, all the uh, Roth, Rockefeller, Rothschild, J.P. Morgans, and Warburgs, and all those people, they all went to Jekyll Island in Georgia to construct and draft the actual Federal Reserve Act. And they all used aliases, like different names. So Huckleberry sounds quite the uh, reference to something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, no. I, I got it from Tombstone. So have you seen the movie Tombstone? Tombstone. It's a recent one with, uh, it's a western, and um, basically uh, uh, it's about this cop from the big city going into an old western town, um, and uh, and this is like still like uh, 1800s, hmm. like late or mid 1800s. Hey, you want to film us? And um, really we should be pausing during this part of the yeah, construction of, of the con alias. There's more of... Fucking nope. right. All right. Yep. So we're gonna do some content. We're we're working content. together, doing stuff. And what you uh, doing? it's a little hard to describe in full detail. But you know, when you understand certain things about reality mm -hmm. and the layers of consciousness of this place, mm -hmm. you are kind of like living in a regular world that is attached to your past mm -hmm. and obviously your future, which is right now. So if you live in a town like this and you know everybody and you're like affiliated with their shit, then you're a part of their reality, their belief system. But if you travel and you keep going all over the place and you meet all these different people and then you start to educate yourself personally by the secrets of the world and how the world really operates and not necessarily talking about like the weird anomalies of life or like with conspiracy theories of like aliens and blah, blah, blah. I'm talking about like learning how, well, one, what the government is doing to us, then doing shadow work has taught me, well, the only one I'm mad at is myself because I'm the government. Mm -hmm. So I'm reminding myself who I am mm -hmm. by these layers and levels of doing shadow work and all the studies of the world that I've discovered with like world history, um, Bible prophecy leading into how this world manifested into what it is today. Mm -hmm. Because I know these things, it's a little bit more difficult for me to be a normal person and attached to normal timelines of life and reality. Mm -hmm. So, because I now know there's like a level of separation between people with consciousness, really it's not about what you have for money that makes you have a status of class, it's your knowledge. So if you're taught a certain kind of private education or a private status of knowledge, that means that you're at a different status of society than the people that are being taught a basic form of education they only know what everyone else does so if they were taught something different they'd be like no that doesn't make any sense that's a lie it's bullshit and they would defend their belief system and go back to slavery so that's what i mean does any of this make sense yeah. nice so essentially what i'm doing is um i know that now like you have to defy who you are you live in a self-determined country of america if you don't know who you are and self-determinant, they're going to tell you who the fuck you are. So what I learned was this thing called uh, secured party creditor goes back towards you claiming your status away from being a 14th Amendment citizen. I was reaching my constitution. I don't fucking have it on me. So um, I studied basically how we all have been enslaved and how to reverse the slavery. So now that I know to reverse the slavery... Um, I believe my job is to basically, you know, what I've been doing is uh, educate myself formally on the law, become my own esquire, take back my common law precedents and the 
continental United States outside the jurisdiction of the federal government. Because in Washington District of Columbia, that's where they created the falsified de facto United States. And then they said under anything in the District of Columbia that's in, that they take over or are allowed within the possession or territories, they will call them states. So in all capital letters, you have the state of Maine. Well, that's not really the Republic of Maine or the nation state of Maine. It's the District of Columbia's federal state of Maine. So what we're doing is separating ourselves from the system completely to become state nationals. That means that we're no longer subject to them. They have no authority over us. The next step is then to... Um... Nice. Oh, I see. I see. We're going to go ahead and do... Shoot it. No, I'm joking. We're going to do... Um, because I'm attached to... I have like Native American ties. I'm going to tap into my Native American... Uh, tribal relations and then get that status and authenticated and so I found out things like this like right here Okay, if you all right get your mom to Say into a quarter record or public like probation right now. Okay What will happen is that this will become a public affidavit and a notice within law and an unrebutted affidavit stands as truth So therefore if you does this making sense? Yes. Okay, so if your mom's like um, you're a born American of Maine and the nation state of Maine. You're not uh, a foreigner. You're not a part. You're not a U.S. citizen because you can't be a U.S. citizen and an American citizen at the same time. Which one are you? Right, exactly. So this is what I do. So I, I fucking help people remember who the fuck they are and what they're doing and then take the power back over their system. And then so because I know what I know and he's a national and she's a national, so they're helping me uh, become united on the land. So they're like my tribe, basically, so because you know we're a, we speak the same language, we operate the same way. So that means we're a part of a different society. So that's actually what we're doing is forming a, a different society. We're actually trying to think of the name of the society to create a different government where he's an independent nation, but the state nation of Maine, but he's a living man. He's of the people. And, and lawfully, we are able to create our own government. Because That's right. We're not Fourteenth uh, Amendment citizens anymore. Exactly. So therefore, we have to back each other up individually, rather than depending on the federal government. They're not going to save us. We need to save ourselves. So. Um, that's how far, I guess, my knowledge has taken me. Does this make sense? Yeah. Nice. So that's what I'm fucking doing, man. Cool. You want to smoke a bowl? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All oh, right. Zoe, there's a deer in the field over there. You want to hang out? Want to be social? You only live once. You might as well. We have to it, get back to the house soon because we got to go watch the dog. Would yeah. you guys just stop by just to Well, we, say we hi. went to go see my aunt and then I saw... So tell me about your stay with your mom. How was that? Uh, it was good. Yeah, we yeah? went to go pick up my friend Sarah. Do you want to be in the video? No video. No video, eh? Okay. You don't care or, or no video? No video. No yeah. video. Yeah. I just figured, hey, develop content. Uh, I think authentic, real conversations is where it's at. Uh, yeah, it's pretty impressive. You know, amazing stuff. So how's it been going with you? Did you see your mom? And tell me about her. Tell me what's going on with her. She's good. She's her sober dates coming up for years. Uh -oh. My dad's so miserable in jail, but you know. Did you talk to him? How's he doing? Uh, yeah, he, he called my mom and I talked to him through there. He's kind of had his chance. Miserable. Basically, it. Well. On a so tell you like your mind kind of like give me a little bit of the experiences that he's kind of indulging in like what is he actually saying that's making him I mean yeah, is it a broken just, record It's just yeah that and it's just his tone of voice he's just not ever having a cheery anything Hmm Always miserable You think that's what got him in the situation he's in Yep Yeah he's not Right Now he's really glad Yeah yeah, well, I mean, he has a lot of time to be sober. Uh, when I saw him, I'm sure Seneca's words rolled through his head a lot. You know, I'm always that guy that people meet that says the shit that they don't want to hear, but they needed to hear it. That's why it was said. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And now he's thinking about it. Right. Well, he has no choice. You know, I brought up, well, 
karma is a motherfucker. If I'm teaching you this information, it's really honestly for you to use it for the good, not the bad. So as soon as I started to teach him this stuff, I don't know. He kind of like was using it to like allow himself. You know what? I don't want to judge him because I love him. So I don't want to sound judgy. But um, how do I word it so it's better? You know, with everything comes the laws of nature first, the laws of nature. So if I fuck with you, someone's going to fuck with me. If I make you feel like shit, someone's going to make me feel like shit. If I make you feel good, someone will come around and make me feel good. Does this make sense? So then the next variable would be is respecting the law of man. Because if man is the sovereign one, we create the authority. So if I sit there and say, well, don't steal. You know, it's obviously natural part of law, you know, and if not, there's going to be consequences, right? So it's not that he was doing drugs. It's all the other things that he was doing that he's not paying attention to. Does this make sense? So when I came into his life, I was teaching him not only the law, but he was asking me questions about scripture and all this other stuff. And yeah, I started to like super religious now. That's hilarious. Yeah. Well, he needs to do bring up shadow work to him. Have you? He talked about it. He did. Yeah. He said once he gets out, he wants to go to the Vatican and shit. This is hilarious. Yeah, this guy, you know, uh, oh, so he's definitely changed his life. Yeah. Do you feel like for the better? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Um, so if you could learn something from it, what is he? Is this too much for you guys? No, we just got to get home soon. All right, I understand. Then I'll smoke some herbs. <laughs> hey, Sam, by the way. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. What's your name? <laughs> My name's Annabelle. Annabelle. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. You have Legos? Yeah, right here. I don't have pockets. I would offer my bowl, but it's CBD. I'm not sure if you want to smoke that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Well, you know what? It's fun to see people. It really is. I love the dark side of people to analyze it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where they're kind of like... It's moving now. You know, who they are. Especially the younger generations. Uh, our generation, the one of your mom mm-hmm. and your pops. Well, no one spent any time with us. Our parents told us to get the fuck out. So we were very pe- like people-orientated. We uh, communicated, but it's like wide open, just not afraid to make friends. Um, generation now is uh, kind of standoffish. Very secretive and private. And just kind of like, well, act like you're not even there. Just like zone you right out. It's like, oh, okay, wow. So, I'm not really sure what that really is. Um, I do know from my experiences of being a child, everything I did not accept from my parents, I became. So, you're, you're probably going to deal with a lot of consequences. Do you feel it inside? All the shit from mommy and daddy? What's it make you feel like? Just trying to survive. Do you do the shadow work too? Yeah. Do you, how do you do it? What's your mantra? I don't really... I have a mantra, I kind of just sit with my thoughts. I just think about a lot of the things that I do. You know what I do? If you wouldn't mind, I'll give you some unsolicited advice. Mm. Okay, even though you didn't ask. Would you like the advice or no? Yes. Okay. I realize that I'm inside myself. So it's me. So whenever a negative thought comes in, that's still me too. Huh? So <laughs> whenever I go in there, I'll be like, hey, how you doing? And I'll start becoming my friend. And then if it's something negative, I'll start to forgive it. And then show it love. Like, I'll become the love and then send it to the emotion and start to flip the script inside me. So, forgiveness. It's one thing we're definitely not taught around here. Try that. That might work. So, if you forgive them for putting it on you and you forgive yourself for putting it on yourself. From past lives to the present future now. Because mm-hmm. you're you're not... I mean, do you believe in time? Time. Time. No. No. It's a, a wonderful invention, isn't it? So, anywho... It's a thought process. So the idea of time would be that you are an ancestor of your mom and dad that got together and then procreated you. So you are them and all their shit, plus their other ancestor shit, put into you. So it's up to you to like fight off the demons with love inside yourself and forgiveness. So when you meet one, you're going to so be like, uh, what I do is I'll be like, uh, there's three things that fuck us up. And then it leads to pain and then bitterness. So you have resentment, judgment, and denial. So if you deny something, 
then you potentially could become what you deny or deny your capability of becoming that. So when you meet people, you... So, like, are you in denial that maybe you are guilty of certain things or have been guilty? No, these are, these are things you'd ask yourself, okay? Sitting in the pain, all right? The next question would be uh, resentment, which means that you have treated unfairly, your life's unfair, you know? Or the idea that... Um, how do I put it? Yeah, you have an indignation. You're angry, like somebody fucked with you. They hurt you. Even though they didn't really hurt you. So, and then the next one is judgment. So if you forgive yourself for those things, it'll start to heal your parents. So everything you see in mommy and daddy, that's fucked up, you start to forgive yourself for them, inside yourself. And then that will heal you and them down the whole entire family chain line. Essentially. At least that's what I've done. And it's been working. Like, not even the same person. Truly not. I realize, you know, the more that you alter the frequency of your own vibration, you're not who you think you are. You just are hung up on those experiences or stuck on that emotion that's making you who that is now. Does any of this make sense? Yeah. It's pretty fucking deep, I know. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, it's an ocean. We're having a good time. I so, get going. all right, well, I, it was good seeing yeah. You. Hey, I switched fa fascist book accounts so you can find me on Electric Shaman. So I decided to, and then TikTok has too much information within the spying and taking all the, and you know, I just, I'm becoming more private. So you can find me there. It's a pleasure. I love you, Annabelle. Take care. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, this is great content. It really is, actually. <laughs> yeah. I, Kara, where are you? I think the reality is, is that when you think about situations like MGK uh, and, you know, obviously Megan Fox. I mean, she's obviously a fox. You look at him. She's obviously the one that's the masculine in the relationship. That's that's how I see it. He definitely is like flamboyant, not afraid to. Dude, Megan get... Fox definitely killed some kids. <laughs> she did something. She definitely fucking killed some kids, bro. <laughs> uh, in what way? What do you mean? Well, no, she she has admitted, and other people have admitted seeing Megan Fox at like these bloodbath parties, like super Hollywood elites type shit. Well, these are rumors. We will we'll take it as what we hear. So are we gonna get? Hey, how's it going? So are we gonna get a uh, a printer? That is gonna do what, like bond material? Uh, do you have any par bond carbon? Because uh, there's a certain list. Yeah, whenever we go to the. Store, do you have intentions? Have what are your intentions? So I'm. Working this this guy seems like he works here. I do. I work nice. Here. Hey, do, you, do you have any questions for him or no? No. no never mind. Do you think, big guy? So. This is the printer I have. So I'm looking for what ink it needs to. Oh, you need ink. It looks mad familiar. Me? Yeah. Eddie? He's got that face, huh? History class. Did you, um... I sat behind you. Did you grow up in uh, like, did you work in Bedford? No, I grew up in Saka. No? Okay, then never mind. I was Saka? assuming you were an old friend that I, like, lived right next to him. Yeah. <laughs> At least you sparked his memory of a good friend. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that makes you feel good about yourself. Yeah, yeah. Do you like the feeling of being compared to other people? Even though people see you, they're like, "Don't." Does, well, how does that make you no, feel? That's a good question. It's actually a good question. Huh? It, I think it depends. If, it, if it's like, if it's in a negative way, then no. Then it's like, then it's kind of like, it's a little bit weird. That's a good. I've never even thought about it like that. But yeah, I guess I like it when people compare me to someone because it means I actually like look at my face. Okay. Nice. And, yeah. And they're not just you know looking at me. I think that's cool. Well, I got compared to people, and it still kind of made me upset. I was like, "What's wrong with me?" Yeah. You know, in my individual self. Because whenever I look at you, I mean, like, I, mean, I still see you. I mean, I can see, like, people that I've seen variations of, but I still see you. Whatever. I see that guy, too. Yeah. Motherfucker. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Take care, brother. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. Don't work too hard. They don't pay you enough. Yeah. Just whatever the job description is, that's all you need to do.
study it. That's it. If they try to go above the job description, you ask for money. Like, that's not what my job description says. My job description says I need to do this. I've done all those duties. Unless you're... Does this make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yes. And how old are you? 17. 17. Well, do you already have a life plan? I'm trying to go to college. Yeah, but that's a business. So you're going to pay somebody else and what? Get out of college and still not even have a job yet? Maybe you should think about what you could do for yourself. Maybe. Just ideas. I, w I want one of these. Uh, oh, yeah. You know what? I kind of need one of these motherfuckers. Yeah. Or one of these. <sighs> you this know is what? A portable sword. What's the best SD cards that they have? Do they have, like, oh, okay. Here we go. Portable big, storage. Big motherfucking, like, storage and shit. 150 gigs. What do we got? Uh, 40. And this is like for a, a, just a regular SD card? No, these are, these are like portable storage boxes where it's like a portable motherboard. Yeah, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. That's kind of, I need one of those That's in the extreme. future. That's extreme. That's yeah. extreme. This is. See, like something right here, this would like save files that I could have. And then if they end up missing, they're always hidden. You can go in like a lockbox. Are you tech savvy at all? Uh, two degrees, you know, I've stepped away from it. So when you step away from something, you have to get back involved. And with tech, it's always evolving. Right. So, you know, as you hit a certain age in life, you have to, like, keep retraining yourself to unlearn what you've already learned mm. to learn new things. Yeah. So... Have you ever heard, have you ever heard of a, um, a virtual box? No. So it's like a computer within a computer to mask the computer. So it's like a computer with everyday shit on a pretend you have your own computer it's literally a computer within a computer program and it's like uh you use it to if someone's trying to hack you um they accidentally hacked the wrong computer they're hacking the computer within the computer and oh, okay i can't come out of that file it's stuck there and they believe that's a computer so this is like its own computer so it's good it's good it has enough storage on there yeah nice 480 gig. Nah, it's not terabyte. bad. This is like, this is big. This a terabyte's like U.S. defense system. Nice. Yep. I tell you. Four terabytes. Wow. Wow. 32 gigs Do they have SD cards? No, those were terabyte discs. In... Oh, there was SD cards right next to it. Oh, there was? Yeah. I didn't see them. That's the first them. thing we started talking about. I, I didn't just, see them. I just pointed to the bigger ones. Oh, I thought these are sticks. I'm looking for the little... Oh, SD cards. Yeah, the little tiny fucking card, bro. Um... I bought the prices. Hey, you got the little SD cards that go in phones? 100 million gigabytes or whatever, you know? What we need, bro? Thanks. Nice. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. So what do we got? So what the hell do I have on here now? Oh, I got like a 32. I had a, um, a trade offer. Okay. Um, you said you really want a GoPro. I need a GoPro, yes. So I have a GoPro. It's a, it's a 7, Hero 7. How many, how long does it last? 24 hours? Well, and Matt, what do you mean, battery life or storage? Storage. Like if I was to be filming this right now. It matters on this. So it's going to be on this. So if I buy one of these and I throw that in there, then this could be... Because really... I'll go with 64. Yeah, I'm buying this to uh, take all the songs on because I'm running out of room for songs and law material and everything that I need. Mm -hmm. So really, look at this, 128. I'd go with this one. This is 128. 128 gigabytes? 
That's 29, mm. but what's the... Okay, 4K... It's only yep, 24 that's bucks. Good. So that's good. Okay, so these are for not for that type of shit. You should probably get a SD card that does go with these guys. So it would be this brand right here. Like the... the these guys. SanDisk. So on, on this side. Like rec oh, really? Recommended, yep. Mm. These guys are recommended to go into GoPro because I remember I put a random ass freaking... I think I put this one in right here. And it didn't accept it when I first got my GoPro when I was younger, the other one. I freaking love GoPro, man. So, so what do you want to do the trade for? The necklace. Which one? The one I liked with the... Uh, oh, the... Uh, okay. So the GoPro, um, it's it sat in the ocean for... Um, does it still work? A year. Yeah, it does work. It's, under, it's waterproof completely. Really? Yep. Completely waterproof. Okay. So all I need is a... A memory card. Yep. And I've only turned it on two or three times. It works. It links to your phone and everything. And you can speak to it too. Like to turn on, start recording, turn off. I'm just going to use it for like situations just like this. Yeah, all you have to do you is know what I mean? to turn it on. And then that way I'm not using my phone. I got the GoPro. And then I can use the phone to do like music or other stuff while having another recording device. Yeah. And sometimes I use and a couple. If you have your phone on you and your phone's like it has um, data... People can watch you. Live. I usually use this to record. Mm -hmm. Like, um, so you'll be on the phone. So actually, this will be on the phone. Then I'll use my tablet. Well, if I had the GoPro, that would be different. Then I could be using the GoPro at the same time with another um, recording device. There's times I need two recording devices, not just one. Mm. And uh, if I can get one that's 24 hours... Now I got a radio. I have a rea reality TV show. Right. Now I can edit footage, content. Do you have a laptop or a computer? Yeah, I do. Okay. It's not exactly the best, but it's something. It's something good. Enough. Yep. And I'll bring it over the house next time too. So yeah, we'll definitely do that. I recommend this one. So what? The sixty-four, not the one twenty-eight. It's the same company. Image Mate Pro, Micro SD. It is the same one. Five K. Well, this one's 5K capability. Right, but... And this is the recommended to go with the GoPros. So what's the Go? The 64 is only 18 bucks. I just figure in life, if I'm going to get the best, what's, what's 128 gigabytes? Is that 24 hours worth of recording time? Okay, so it matters on how much gigabytes does a, does a video take up. So I would go to your storage of your phone and look up a video on your phone. And by the way, that's in low D, so it's not like very powerful. So, um, but on the GoPro, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be 4K. So, I'm only just thinking of like deep storage space. I mean, I actually need a more room on the phone, but if I'm gonna get the GoPro, I can, you know. Uh, cause even now I'm, I'm running into storage issues with my phone. So now I, I need, I do need one for my phone, but, um, the 64, the 128 should, well, that's not two separate SD cards, just that small one's the real SD card. And then the other one you insert into a computer. No, I know that. So you stick that into there. So uh, this is good. I buy one for my phone. Um, two. well, that's what I'm saying. So now I'm looking at my funds. And honestly, like, I need to save my cash. Uh, I could probably buy one. Look. But, um. Capabilities, this is GoPro. This is drone. Which one? Show me again. So the one I'm recommending is the GoPro one. It shows that it's GoPro compatible and drone compatible. This just says drone compatible, but I don't know what the three is. And this, it also states three on here, too. Just trust me, I had to buy a whole new SD card because I grabbed the wrong one. All right, let's go ahead and get that one. And uh, what's the price for it? What are they trying to tell me? 18 bucks for this one? Yep. All right. Um, it'll come back around. Mm -hmm. So, plus, you know, it's an investment. And 
I, you know, this is great. Uh, I appreciate it because that's going to really, I mean. So what do you think about the trade? I think it sounds great and definitely fair. I was actually thinking and been looking around my house all day. It wasn't today, but yesterday I was looking for a camera or another. I found a recording device that was like an old Kodak camera, one of those old ones. And I was like, I mean, don't get me wrong, it was something, but it's not. I was like, you know, so I was thinking it'd be nice to have a, a GoPro or something, you know. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to get some grub while we're here yep. so I don't eat. Oh, we're stocked on food. Oh, well, you got you guys good? Well, you know, either way, I still like to not impose. Whip out your ghetto clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we go. We got a... Now I got an SD card and a pen. So that's... This is my big come up. Hey, the GoPro is going to be huge. Not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm using my phone... Um, it's a, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's, um, is it easy to take whatever footage is on the GoPro and then either put it on the computer or upload from the internet there? Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll you, see it tomorrow. We'll see it slap, today. Yeah, I got to find it first. You okay. Just slap it onto the computer from the, uh, you take out the SD card, you stick it into the adapter, and then you stick it all into the computer. Okay. Yeah. The story of my life. Why titanium? You feel? This is You know, anything to make a buck, right? Look good, sound good. It oh, sells. It's just the name. Yeah, it's just a company. Yeah. Titanium. Yeah, these are my favorite. Ticondri Ticonderoga. These are my favorite ones right here. World's best pencil. Yep. And I agree. Mm. I agree. Even uh, these ones are great. I love these ones. Oh, these are like, boss right here. Are you sure do you want that? I'm trying to see what sort of white or get. Yeah, I mean, yeah, look at this. Oh, yes. Look at this. Something about these pencils, they're nice, they draw you in. Uh, these pretty much are my faves too. I like this. Yeah? Right here. Um, oh yeah, hey, a hammock. Cocoon hammock, cocoon hammock. Cocoon That's what I'm talking hammock. about, hey, you never know. I actually have this one. Oh, nice. nice. I'm waiting to take it out. Hey, tomorrow, let's go out to the woods and to my favorite spot and we'll do a little bushwhacking after All right. Occasions. Yeah. I have two hammocks. I'm down. I'll bring, I'll bring them both out. You know, I was going to make hammocks, handmade hammocks, but they're going to be a lot more than $22. All right. You know? Uh, you know, I mean, it was going to be made out of branches, sanded down, polyurethane. Yeah. Be nice, nice stuff. Yeah, as I get older, I, I notice I get a little pickier. You know, what? I get pickier with stuff. Pickier? Pickier, yep. When you're young, you know, somebody hands you, this is your backpack, this is the shit we bought you. As you get older, you're like, oh, I, I need to have the best. You know what I I need a good fucking knife. Fuck just to have... All the... Fuck it, right to hell. What is this, all Street trash? Trash, dude. Gabage? I would use that to pick Gabage. my ass with. It's that bad, huh? It's that bad. Come here. There's got to be something. Yeah, there's, uh, there's other stuff. Dude, I Oop. have a nice chunk here. You know. Well, I realize, you know, down in Florida I had a knife all the time. Now I don't have a fucking knife on me. Damn. Extra fucking good for, like, bushcraft, stuff like that. Stay away from the flip knives if you're going to go, like, heavy-duty stuff. Um, they tend to break easier. I mean, this would be more of a durable um, flip knife, but the fixed blades are to go for like everything if you have the space and if you're not trying to conceal. Um, like, what would you use it for? 
uh, one to have on me all the time. Plus, you never know when you might need to stick someone. <laughs> okay, so you want concealment. Uh, well, not necessarily. I've already got one to conceal. This would probably be on me all the time, like a sheath. Like, kind of looking at this Ozark one. Oh, well, Ozark is such a bad That's brand. trash. What's yeah. this one right here? This 32. This yeah. Is that fake? Golden fix? What do you mean fake? I don't know. Is that a real is antler head? Antler? No, it's probably you know? um, resin. So it's probably fake. Yeah. Yeah, so really everything here is probably trash, but... Not exactly. These two right here, CKRT, I love these. And then the other one down here is the one I own right there. Like the one in the corner, the brown one. Such a great knife for like, you know, sticking it. Yeah, I see but that. I, I want this big boy right here, because this is a... What, this Gerber? Yeah, definitely a good bushcraft knife. Yeah, not bad. You know, I had a, I had... I had a small little, you know, collection going on. Yeah, me and Prime's gonna be soon buy another knife. <laughs> yeah, walk away. Walk away. Yeah, I wonder if there's a sheath with that one. It does. The one that the K X T. I you mean, I kind of like to check it out. It looks like a nice knife, actually. Yeah, yeah. Let me go see. Is anybody around there? Yeah. I guess I want to find somebody to help me get a knife. I'm going to look at a couple of knives. Uh, you never know. You know, they're good to have. I think we should all be armed. Knife will be the first thing that I go back to, and then eventually I'll have a nice firearm again. They're getting pretty expensive. You know, but... Hey, how's it going? Can we call for someone? Uh -oh. oh, okay. Having a good day? It's almost over. That sounds good. <laughs> it's been busy. How long have you been here? Uh, all day. Two years in October. Oh, okay. Whew. Yeah, fabrics. Nice. Nice. 22 years. 22 years. 24 years with AT&T, but I went to college for a while. Here. How long have you been here today? Just this morning. This morning? This one. Oh, since, since one. one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. No, you guys are right. Corey, that's your name? Yes. I had it before all the little boys. <laughs> nice to meet you, Corey. My mother made it my mother made it up. She had never heard it before. Oh really? Same thing with my sister Dana. Yeah. She tried. <laughs> <laughs> that's a riot. <laughs> she tried. Nice. I know and of course, she made it up, so she spelled it that way. He's like, Mom, why'd you spell it like that? She goes, you don't like to change it. That's a riot. Like, I'm going to go to court and change her spelling. Hey, yeah, I know, right? No, I don't think so. Hey, how's it going? You just paged me? 
Do you have yeah. keys? I just put them away. He needs them. I'll go get them. Right there, he needs them. No, I'll go get them. Take a minute. Okay. These are nice range finders. Yeah, I kind of want to check out like... Uh, oh no, I didn't. What, you don't have the key? No, I set my phone down for a second. Uh-oh. Is that a good thing or...? That's a very bad thing. Well, go back to what you're doing. It's right here. <laughs> oh, that's a good thing. I mean, he knows we're over here. You, yeah, you don't have to wait. I hate that feeling. I think you're okay, but I really appreciate your hospitality. He was to go home too. That's What are you guys closing now? Is it, is it no longer 24 hours or? Eleven o'clock. 24 hours. Eleven. Yeah, down in Florida, dude. That's the way it is, man. No way. Yeah, only here in Maine do you come back where it's like the whole town shuts down at 7. You're like, what? I mean, yeah, it's and, not a city. Well, it makes me feel good to be around that. Down in Florida, man, you like, I don't know. It never stops, so it's so nice, actually. I mean, a part of me, I like it here, too. You know what? Sounds it took like a long time to get me to calm down. And right. Yeah. So what department did you want? Right here? Yeah, you you helped me do my first sale on. Um, I remember I, I was more, I was working at. Um, that's why you look so familiar. Yeah, I was working at the health food store. You came in and I. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh my god. I um yeah, you helped me do my first um, uh, hunting license, hunting and fishing license. How you doing? Yeah. What I'd like to do is check out a couple of knives. I want to look at this uh, CRKT. I gotta find yeah. out. Uh, What's that? The Seagull 2097. Yeah, 2097. Yep. I gotta have the four numbers on the bottom. Okay, it's three eight eight zero. Okay, It's called the CRKT Spew Box. Yep. And then the next one I want to look at is the Old Timer Combo Box. Which is the 2835. Oh, wow. Well, you got that one right there. Now, what's the number? I can't show my It's 3880. Okay. And then, okay. Does it have the sheath too? Oh, that's, oh yes, it does. Okay, yeah, this is it. So, I wanted to look at the old timer, which is the 2835. I've got, I got the old timer. What a good blade. I know, right? Those are quality classic blades, too. So, 2835? Uh, 2835, sir, yes. Uh, that's it, yep. You can't beat those. If I had a choice between this and that, I'd take the old timer. A lot of people would. A part, a part of me still will potentially. I just bought my son one. I want to look at this and. Uh, I never seen a blade. No man told me that. Get the old time. I've never heard of this uh, C R. What I what I like is the sheath that's on it. Obviously, it's constantly ready to go. That's what we really got. That's the only one I got of that. That's my favorite. That yeah, that's nice. Why don't you get buy one of them? Thank you. I, you this is really nice though. I, I own this. Oh, that very one? That very one, I own this. See, this thing... It's like a buck style. Yeah, this is... Well, Old Timer was really kind of before the buck. Really? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. It. I bought one. I bought this my This is like one. the real quality. Oh, yeah. It's got the double. See, I want to get this, but then I know that this one... See, this one, you never know. You have it... Yeah, that one's better. I wouldn't say it's better. In my opinion. I don't know, where's the the attachment of the sheath? I'll have to create an attachment. Yeah, there's no clip, but um, uh, quick deployment though. I have it right here around my neck and I just go, you know what I mean? I wouldn't no, use it for that. No man came in tonight with a cane. He was walking to say, hey, you okay? It was like this. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding you. He said, let somebody come after me when I'm walking. You should have saw when he pulled that out. Give me a freaking stroke. <laughs> got a blade in there, but foot log. That's crazy. I don't man. know where the hell he got that. Probably it's, Army Surplus store. It's, it's cool though. Yeah, it is cool. Another one come in the foot. All it does is hold booze. <laughs> a knife that holds alcohol. No, I mean the cane. 
Oh, the well, I went to I went to the snow festival in Quebec, Quebec one year. It's all they had people walking around with canes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Everybody got lit like a Christmas tree. That's funny. Hmm. You know what? I don't want to be that kind of guy that wastes your time, but no. I don't think I'm going to get him. I'm all going right. to wait. All right, no problem. Yep. I think that there's something out there that's a little more my style. Okay, there's no No problem. offense to them, you know, I yeah, think they're yeah. both nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, no problem, buddy. Thank you, Dennis. Hey. Yeah, let me put this back. Yeah, there's yep. no problem. Thanks. I'm here till I go home. Nice. Well, at least they gave you something to do. Yeah, I'm in good schooling tonight. Nice. Wait, real quick before you take that, isn't that the sheets right there? Oh, is this the part that clicks on so yep. you can have it? Yep. Hmm. I'm missing that, by the way. So this goes on. That didn't come in the box that I bought. No. The same one with, yeah. You should have brought it back. Tell them. I had no idea. Oh, so this is so it'll go on my belt. Yep. So it's like actually. Yep. I would I would wear it just like that, and so it'd be like from here. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean. Yeah. That's called um. It's called uh, uh, self defense. No, it's the certain... I will wait, but right, I no. can feel it. You know, yeah. we'll see what happens. Okay, buddy. I'm not a very impulsive guy. Ma, I just found out I'm French. Don't worry about it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of figured. That was <laughs> well, the hell. Everybody's got a bad side. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, buddy. I like it. Thank you so much. Okay. Really. We'll get you back, man. Now I gotta yeah, put these away. Putting, you take these home, you get right now. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well, you don't want that. Well, that wouldn't be the first time for me. No? No, I'm always taking these. One day I had three days and I pulled in the office. It wasn't free. How long have you been here? 11 years. 11 years? Yeah, I just turned 70. Nice. Uh, and you've been in the store 11 years? I'm already retired. I could do something. Yeah, I'm, think, I'm only look 20 how much hours money a week. I saw my sister now. She's 80 in store. Uh, but she's got a maid where she is. Nobody bothers. Hey, look at that. Nice. She works at night. She's been 35 years at UNE. You know what UNE is, right? Yeah, isn't that uh? That medical school? Yeah. I remember that when it was one building called St. Francis College. One okay. One building was all they had back in the 60s. Nice. And look at it now. I used to go deer hunting back there. Now it's all freaking big. Oh, yeah. It's all buildings. Yeah, I know. They're tearing this place apart. And the U and E on the cross the street, they get that big stadium or whatever. They still get, they sell up. They own 500 acres. That's what they got left to play with. Thanks, Dennis. Hey, Huh? You're antsy? Yep. All right, well, I'm ready to, what are we doing? 80. I have 80. Hmm? Yeah, I'm being yep. very particular. Okay, I got envelopes. See, I'm mostly thinking about the business now. You have, you that would have been, this is yep. so I can make more. That's gonna be for the signatures. Bro, I'm, Makes I'm sense. Involved. Makes sense. Yeah, I'll have to wait. There was a nice place down in Florida. Everything's getting more expensive, so that means you got to charge more. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Uh, Alrighty, so you, you want to hit the woods tomorrow? Uh, yeah, of course. Sure, yeah, it's right down the street from me, so. Yep. Simple little thing. We're going to go on the trail where I used to chill during the winter. Do you want to come with us? Are you going to go early in the morning? What time do you think we should go? I don't know. I mean, like, you know, I like my own natural volition of life. We'll see what happens. But I'm also up for surprises. I think just go with the flow. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I 
Well, there's quite a bit going on when it comes down to the abundance of shit. Any good books? Esoterics, alchemy, metaphysics, law. It'd be nice to write my law book and then selling it here in Walmart. Yeah. A law handbook. You pick it up, you're like, you know what? Yeah. Start getting militarized with information armed mm. to the teeth yeah, I've had these before they're GPS um, GPS tracking uh, and then these are pretty cool yeah, I tell you, the battery-operated Bluetooth speakers are the best. Yeah. Usually I have a nice Bluetooth speaker with me. Yeah, I got a couple of bucks in the bank, and I got to invest more into my stuff. I bought some wire. I made some new pieces. This is one of them right here. Um, Astro Phylite. Hmm. So bad. It's one of the newest ones. What do you do? Tumble it yourself? Uh, no, but I do have a tumbler, and I'm getting to that point. Um, you know, the more I'm where I'm at, and with the less expectations of where you know everybody wants me to be, somewhere different than where I'm at, mm. or doing something different than what I'm doing, and so I'm just starting to let go of all that, all those expectations, even of my own. Learning how to be like, all right, well, I'll take it if I leave it. Take it, take it or leave it. If I have it, great. If not, eh, whatever. And I like it more that way. Rather than needing something so bad that's the only way I'm going to be happy. And 90% of the time, you know, I've made a lot of sacrifices, so when I get stuff, I'm really happy. America, it's the land where they just don't, they, they're trying to poison us, bro, they, they want us dead. It's the land of the lab rats. Whew, that smells like baby powder or something. That's heavy. They have a known human pesticide. With what? Lucky charms. Oh, really? Well, yeah, it's, it's meant to kill us. You know what, I... I mean, it's real, but paying any attention to it's it. Get some of this. Oh, you know what? That rosemary, olive oil was fucking high, bro. You know, I gotta get my own carriage, bro. That way I can uh, 
Hey. Yo, I gotta go get my own carriage, guys. And I squeezed the air right out of this. That can't be good. No. I gotta get my own carriage. So I don't. Because you guys got so much stuff. I have stuff. I don't wanna fucking cause any problems with that stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna be bothered. If you wanna go all the way back and grab one. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I have a life too. How about you leave that, leave it in here to get it, because it stop you at the door. Yeah, probably. Okay. <laughs> I'm still fucking filming. It's hilarious. <laughs>